All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So in this video, I want to talk about one of my favorite bodybuilders from the Pumping Iron movie, and that is Paul Grant, a.k.a. Paul Grant from Wales. If you guys remember, in that 1974 Mr. Universe competition with Mike Katz, when they announced Paul Grant as third place, um, that's how they announced him as Paul Grant from Wales, and he looked super disappointed. And I remember as a young kid watching that Pumping Iron thinking, man, how did he get third place? He looked so amazing. Because honestly, he was one of my favorite bodybuilders and one of my favorite physiques to come out of that movie. I thought his abs and his midsection just looked incredible, especially compared to the other guys. And he actually has a very good competition history, and he's a very you know accomplished bodybuilder from that era that I feel like nobody really talks about or knows about other than that Paul Grant from Wales scene in Pumping Iron. So I wanted to give a little bit of background information on Paul Grant. So Paul Grant stood five foot eleven or 180 centimeters tall. His weight was between 215 and 225 pounds on stage, or 93 to 102.1 kilograms. He had a 50 inch chest and a 33 inch waist, and of course, he was from Wales. His main era was the 70s, but so as a bodybuilder, he was obviously most well known for having this crazy midsection, like I said before, and just kind of having that dense, hard, just really conditioned look. But at the same time, like I said, looking very hard, especially his midsection, it was always very vascular and it just looked very good. So his first competition was in 1970, and that was the NABA Mr. Universe competition where he placed sixth. In 1971, he would move up four places and placed second at the NAVA Mr. Universe. And that same year, he would also win the AAU Mr. World competition, and he would also win the AAU Mr. Europe competition, both of which were in the tall category. So in 1972, he would win the Mr. Britain competition, and then he would win the NAVA Mr. Universe in 1972, again, that tall category. Then in 1973, he would win the tall category of the Mr. Universe as well, and he would place second at the Mr. World competition. So then in 1974 and 1975, consecutively, he would place third place in both of those years' Mr. Universe competitions. And of course, the 1975 IFBB Mr. Universe is the Mr. Universe that is followed in the Pumping Iron docudrama. So following Pumping Iron in that 1975 Mr. Universe, Paul Grant would not win another um, pro show. So he would continue to compete in 77 and 78, but his best placing would be a second place finish at the European Amateur Championships. Then in 78, he competed in USA versus the world where he would place fourth. He was forced to retire from bodybuilding because he had a rare kidney disease that forced him to undergo dialysis treatment in his early 30s, so at a very young age. Um, that's what forced him to retire from bodybuilding. As I mentioned before, his primary era was the 70s, but during the 80s and 90s, he was still very active in the bodybuilding scene, just not as a competitor. So he received a kidney transplant in 1985, but during the 80s, he was the president of the WFBB, which is the Welsh Federation of Bodybuilders. He also owned a gym and also a health food and nutrition store. So he tried to remain in the bodybuilding scene in the 80s and 90s, despite being forced to retire at an early age. He also spent some time working for Joe Weider while he was over here in the States. And then, of course, in 2003, unfortunately, he would pass away at the age of 60 after spending 25 years in that Welsh Federation of Bodybuilding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit more about a bodybuilder you may not have known much about before. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.